The instructor guides the students in analyzing the components of a business card. Instead of the instructor herself identifying the parts, the lesson incorporates cognates and the student's background knowledge, familiarity with U.S. business cards, to elicit the components from the students. The instructor provides a handout with a list of vocabulary. Students select the words that are typically associated with business cards. This reintroduces in written form the vocabulary elicited orally in the previous activity. The students then check their answers with a partner, followed by a full class report out. Notice how the classroom dynamics vary among groups, pairs, and individuals. <laughs> students now label the elements of an actual Russian business card as a way to develop their writing skills. The instructor then checks individually, followed by a full class report out. Now the instructor introduces a comparison of Russian and U.S. business cards by showing authentic examples. She then presents a scenario in which a Russian businessman uses a machine translation tool to translate his business card into English. Students are asked to analyze how the translated card deviates from U.S. business cards. What are the problems with this card? The activity highlights cultural differences in the presentation of information on business cards. For example, the order in which addresses are given, as well as the order of names. In Russian, the surname is given first. Students are now presented with an interpretive activity in which they connect each Russian business card with an appropriate situation. Students are given 10 business cards, but only six situations. The relevant grammatical structures why and because are provided on the handout so that students can justify their choices. The instructor checks for comprehension by having the students hold up the right card for the right situation. She then calls on individual students to provide the evidence to support their choice using because. Before having the students create their own business cards, the teacher shows them another example and does a final comprehension check to make sure the students can recognize all the elements of a Russian business card. StarTalk is a program of the National Foreign Language Center, sponsored by the National Security Agency.